I'm going to tame the scariest mob in Minecraft, the Warden. Okay, no, not like that. Let's trap the most dangerous player on the level's SMP, Flame Frags. Let me explain. A couple days back, I was invited to a team called the Meat Men. But once we left spawn, things didn't exactly go to plan. Someone's here, guys. Flame Frags is here. Go, 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 go. He has run, 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 run. As the worst team on the server, we were under attack. Not just by any team, but literally by the team known for their PvP skill. And their leader, Flame Frags. The best PvPer on the server. <laughs> you left the phone! No! Boy, the best PvPer on our team had just died to the hands of Flame Frags. But the bloodshed. I didn't leave my criminal. Oh, dashing! With another one of my teammates dead because of the most dangerous team on the server, I knew I had to act and fast. But as we just saw, PvP simply wasn't enough. So I ran until I had finally managed to escape, which is where I got an idea. What do you think about taming the ward and then using it to trap our enemies? That sounds like the stupid- With my whole team on board the plan, I headed to the deep dark in order to tame the warden. Hey bud, do you like carrots? Okay. Is the warden leadable? Okay. Okay. The warden is not leadable. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay. Clearly things were not going to plan. But instead of giving up, I made a checklist of three parameters that could kind of tame the warden. Parameter one, the warden obviously can't attack me. I mean, what's the point of a pet if it kills you? Oh. Parameter two, the warden must follow my orders. Isn't that right, boy? Now go fetch. At parameter three, the warden must attack other players. Oh my god! With this plan in place, I set out to work. The plan to stop the warden from attacking me was actually quite simple. The warden's mechanics make him so he can't see, but has a heightened sense of smell and hearing that can be used against him. If I am able to constantly distract the warden using the spell, the warden wouldn't be able to hear me, and since he's always moving, he wouldn't even try and stop and smell me out. Or at least, that's what I thought. It's time for the moment of truth. Activate the bell, spawn the warden, and into survival mode. Did it work? I think it actually worked. Oh my god, let's go. Spent way too much time on this idiot. With one of three things checked off the list, I was right on track. Well, until this happens. I was about to be hunted down by flame frags, which if you haven't noticed, isn't a very good thing. What do I do? What do I do? Shoot, shoot, man. What do I do? I was within arm's reach of taming the warden, but if I couldn't stay hidden, all this planning would all be destroyed. But it wasn't quite over yet. McTips quote-unquote accidentally gave flame the base coordinates, but instead he just gave him some random coordinates far away from our base. So flame spent the next hour searching for a fake base. Really? Back up, back up, back up, back up. We gotta back up, we gotta back up, we gotta back up. We gotta back okay, up. Okay. I, I see some revenants. Okay, we can just follow their tracks. It's over here, I think. So quick. I don't think you're gonna... Oh my god, I messed up. Bro, he's hide our base under our base. <laughs> <laughs> you're really screwing up. You're really screwing up, huh? Although Flame and his team were hilariously running around looking for our fake base, we were still in danger. This is the closest Flame Frags has gotten to finding us. If we didn't tame the warden any quicker, we would be in trouble. So as soon as Flame logged off, I got back to work. If you are able to exploit another one of the warden's mechanics, his hearing, you can order the warden to go anywhere you want. By setting up a couple dispensers that throw snowballs all around the path, the warden actually follows, like an idiot. And once he gets close to the player, no! with the warden fully tamed, the puzzle pieces were falling into place. Except for one very important piece. How would I lure flame frags into my base without raising any suspicion? As I pondered this question for hours, a teammate of flame frags approached me with an interesting offer. If you die with all your good things on, you're gonna lose everything that you have. However, if you put your stuff in a chest, mm -hmm. I can always just say, oh, hey, Flame, like, I found him. He'll kill you and he'll be happy. Flame's teammate is asking me to set up a fake base and allow Flame Frags to come and kill me. In exchange, my teammates would be protected since Flame will no longer be out for blood. This deal seems like a no-brainer, but if I accept, not only will I die and lose this battle, but everything that I had worked on up until this point would all go to waste. With time ticking, I had to make a choice. Okay, let's do it. I had done it. Sold my soul to protect the team and keep Flame happy. But then McTips gave me an idea. We set up a fake base today, we get Flame Frags to come there, and then we ambush him with a warden and all of us in there. So there it was. Warden the location and an exact plan of how to get Flame into the base with zero suspicion. But we now had another problem. We only had 48 hours left before our deal with Flame's teammate expired. So I had to go out and explore to find a suitable deep dark to tame the warden. Dead end after dead end, I was losing hope. And still, no signs of a deep dark. Until I found... Yes, let's go! An ancient city with a cave right above that looks like a base location. I had found the perfect spot. The plan is to build a fake base that looks like a maze right above the deep dark. 
this would hopefully confuse Flame. Once we have Flame confused, we can just let the Warden handle the rest. Okay, I think the entire maze is done. All I need to do now is just to build a bubble elevator that'll bring the Warden up. But I mean, how hard can that be? Do, 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 stop, stop, step back, step back, step back. Ow. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Hey, stop that. Okay, okay, that one hurt, that one. Yeah. And after some more struggle, the bubble elevator was finally finished. The issue is, I had a little less than 24 hours left to trap flame frags. And all that was left to do was make this fake base actually look like a base. But that's when things took a turn, for the worst. Wait, is that a name tag? Dude, it's Jaden. Oh, shoot, shoot. I gotta hide, I gotta hide. Dude, how did he find the maze? This thing is so well hidden. Oh my god, if a warden spawns right now, I am so screwed. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I just, okay, I just need to calm down. I just need to calm down. Dude, if he finds me, this whole thing would be destroyed. Jaden and Flame aren't the best of friends, but if Jaden finds anything, he would tell Flame in a heartbeat just to get on his good side. So remaining hidden was vital to my plan. Come on, come on. Please, please, please. Don't find me. Don't find me. Dude, I think he's walking away. He's leaving, he's leaving. He's leaving. Oh my god, thank god. Okay, okay, thank god. He almost found my McTip smooch closet. After that near miss interaction with a guy right above my base, I knew I had to finish the fake base as fast as possible. And once I was done, I only had 10 hours remaining. So I decided to head to sleep. <laughs> decided to start a goddamn hate miss on me while I was asleep, and his only explanation is, We just pretend that you hate me and you want to betray me, that way you can easily earn his trust and bring him to our base. Wait, that's that's actually pretty valid. But why would you- Only one hour remains before we have to trap Flame, and with the maze made, the warden ready for action, and Flame on his way to the fake base, I broke down the plan for my teammates. Listen up, team, here is the plan. McTips, you will be the mastermind of this operation, invisible and pretending to be me, just in case Flame got hostile and tried to kill me. I would be in the deep dark preparing to send the warden up into the maze and will also be begging the viewer watching right now to subscribe because I am in a subscriber race with Wookie to reach 10k subs and he is currently beating it. Aeon, Aeon. Yeah? The plan? Oh yeah, right. McCoy, you will be 100 blocks away at an ender pearl stasis chamber ready to pull us out when things get spicy. And with that being said, boys, let's call flame. Oh, you're right here. How um, close should I step? Uh, do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? <sighs> I should have brought my pots if I'm gonna fight. I mean, there's nothing to worry about if you just keep following me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Flame was now finally in position, and all I had to do was bring the warden up into the maze without dying. Okay, uh... Okay. I'm gonna- I'm gonna lead you right into the- Wait, hold on, dog! What is this? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Why are you scared? What was that? What? what was that? We live we live above an ancient city. If that makes you feel any better. Where's the what? Where's the where's the stasis? Oh my god, did I just fall? Hold on, bro! I hear a warning! Can I mine some places? What I had failed. Lost my chance to avenge my fallen teammates and get revenge on Flame. Luckily, this is not where the story ends. How about we put turn this trap to make tips? I know it's meant for me. I can tell. How about we use it on someone else? Oh, I'll be back. Not for Flame, but for...